Hi, my name is Ellie Nicole, and today I will be talking about the time when I almost joined a cult. I didn't even realize it until I told my mom about it, and then she told me to tell my uncle, who is a prominent member of his church. He's an usher, and he's traveled to different churches to speak the word of God. And when I told him about it, he told me to leave. I'm not going to get too much into detail because I feel like I'm just going to have an hour long video but I just want people to be aware of the signs of what someone will say to you in order to join a cult and I feel like I was completely blind to the signs because I was so naive and that's what cults do they prey on people who are naive they prey on people who do not have much because they want you to rely on them to join their organization or their cult there's actually a lot of stuff that this cult did that I wrote down and I'm gonna try to go through each and every one of these things and just say my experience of temporarily being in a cult. First I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background of how I even found out about the cult, how I was even kind of incorporated into it. I basically was brought into this cult because of a friend. Um, we were actually really close. We've been friends for a really long time. We're no longer friends anymore because of this cult situation, which I think is really good because I feel like God placed me out of the situation to see better things. But I'm gonna call her Jessica. Just to give you a little bit of a background of Jessica, she was kind of living alone. Her mom moved to a completely different state and her dad has never really been in her life. Um, so I feel like that was really easy for the cult to kind of approach Jessica because they knew that she didn't have anyone and I feel like that's how she got into it and then one of the main things about cults is that they want you to gather other people and so I feel like this cult made Jessica find me so that I could join this cult. So that's basically the background of how I found out about it. Basically the first thing she asked me was do you want to read the bible do you want to study the bible and that's the one thing about cults is that they ease into things they're not going to immediately walk up to you and be like oh can you drink this serum and then it makes you like pass out five minutes later like no they're going to ease into how they operate so that you can become comfortable and then once you're comfortable you're not going to want to leave so that was the first thing she said to me she said do you want to read the bible and i was like yes of course i'm a firm believer in jesus I love reading the Bible, I do daily devotionals, and I was like, why not? So we start reading the Bible, um, at first it was just me and Jessica, and then the studies kind of progressed into me, Jessica, and some and another girl, and then it progressed to me, Jessica, the other girl, and another girl. It was kind of just like the studies like expanded when originally I just thought it was gonna be me and Jessica doing the studies. Basically how I'm going to talk about the situation is by explaining the topics we talked about in these bible studies and i feel like this is the most important part because this is where i was kind of reeled into the cult situation and this is when i was almost brainwashed from what i originally knew about jesus study number one they we were basically talking about just like random i don't know topics about sins or whatever and then the word cultivation came up and she was like well what do you think cultivation is and what do you think it means and in my mind i was like just listing all these adjectives and then she was like well you're you're kind of on the right track but cultivation actually stems from the word cult like, like right when she said that i was like wait you're not going to sit up here and say that christianity is a cult so i just let her continue speaking all religions are cults but people put cults in a bad light and i was just like well what do you mean like in a bad light and she was like you know about those cults that make people drink water and then they end up dying like um jim jones i think his name was if i get it wrong i'm still gonna put it on the screen i don't really know but basically he lured people into the island or something and he was basically forming a cult and then at the end of it all these people died basically what she was saying was that these types of cults the bad cults 
are the ones that shed bad light on the good cults which is christianity and so at first i didn't really understand i was kind of just like christianity is not a cult just like in my mind but then she was showing me scriptures and like all these different things to prove that christianity was a cult so it was almost like pre-brainwashing like i didn't understand how christianity could have been a cult but i was almost believing it okay the second topic in the second study they were basically talking about exponential growth and how you need to bring in other christians or other non-believers to create them into christians and those christians will bring in other christians and it basically creates an exponential growth and so when she said that i was almost like okay well i'm kind of interpreting this as a recruitment like you basically want me to go through these studies learn whatever you're teaching me and then gather other people which is a sign of a cult because literally people in cults gather other people so that they can be a part of this organization i was like oh so we're gonna be recruiting people and she was like oh that's not the word like this is the right word like some biblical word for recruit and i was like oh okay well like that's what we're doing and she was like basically yes but we're gonna show you with the next studies on how to become a christian so that people can trust you and believe you and just saying all these things and so i was i was kind of like shocked i was like i've never seen someone pull up an actual chart of the percentage of someone who was christian gathering other people like they literally showed us a chart so we started in march and then i think for like two months we didn't do any studies and i think it's because finals was happening so we didn't really get back into the studies until i want to say may or june we didn't really get back into it so once we started to get back into the studies a new girl was added i'm just gonna call this girl tara tara was leading them and i was like jessica like you were leading the studies why is there someone new and she was like oh it's because i'm not trained on learning these new studies and we're not recruiting enough people so they had to bring in someone like tara to lead the study so that people would be persuaded to stay and she literally said that flat out <laughs> like at least she was honest about recruiting people the new girl tara she's leading the studies and basically we were just reading like regular books in the bible and stuff and out of nowhere kind of like towards the end she was like oh you know what i can baptize you and then you can become a member of our church and i was kind of just like in my mind i was almost like well isn't baptism something that i need for myself isn't baptism something where once i feel like i have built a great relationship with god then it should be my choice to be baptized not someone else's not for someone else's convenience but because i want to and she was saying you know at the end of these studies once we're done i can baptize you and then you will become a disciple okay i don't know why i said disciple like that but basically if you are unaware of what a disciple is it's basically someone who promotes the word of god and they basically gather other people to become disciples and worship christ for lack of better words that's just a short summary and that part is real being a disciple is real but what i didn't like was that tara was telling me that if i wasn't a disciple i'm not a christian i know people that go on missions to germany or africa and you know that's something they choose to do they choose to quit their jobs um to do that because that's their passion but that doesn't have to be something that i want to do and just because i don't want to do that that shouldn't mean that i'm not a christian and so i talked to my uncle about it and i was like i didn't even say the part about me being in a group i just asked him i was like uncle um what do you know about discipleship just to say what he had to say and he said oh well it's something that i don't choose to do but i know there's people that you know promote the word of god and he's just like that's just something you choose to do you don't have to do it and then i was like wow wow so i'm getting played right now by tara because and then that's when i told him i was like there's this girl there's this study group and she's telling me that i'm not a christian if i'm not a disciple and he was like wait 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 elenise 
no one should be telling you that being a disciple is a choice and that doesn't make you any less of a christian if you choose not to do it then we move on to the next study study six something like that we started moving on to other topics and all these topics are honestly kind of obvious signs to why I shouldn't be in this organization. And the thing Tara says is that I need to love God so much that I hate my mother and father. And at first I was just like, what? And they were explaining it in a way to where it's like, not that I literally hate my mother and father, but I need to love God so much that if someone tries to get in the way of my relationship between God, that I don't need to listen to them. And I feel like they only said that because of what's going to happen at the end of the story. Um, it's all going to tie in together. I'm just going in order so you guys understand what's happening. So at first I was just like, oh, like, I mean, my parents are Christian. I won't have to worry about that. So I think this is around like August now. I'm supposed to be going back to school soon, which is five hours away. And I will no longer be in my little hometown. I'm going to be moving to a college town. So I let the girl who's leading the studies know. I was like, hey, Tara, like I'm moving to school soon. Um, we can still continue these studies over Zoom. But I'm going to school no matter what because I need to get my education. And then right when I said that, that I wanted to move, things were already kind of like showing me signs. But the next stuff that I'm about to say is very obvious. After I told her that, she was like, you know what? We can do three studies every day and then I can baptize you on Sunday. That means we would have to do a study Thursday, Friday, and Saturday so that on Sunday I would be baptized. And this kind of made me upset because it's like I don't want to feel the pressure of doing studies. Being baptized should be a choice that I want. Doing studies three times a day should be a choice that I want, not something that she wants for me. You're not God. I'm following what God is telling me to do and God is telling me to take a step back because I feel pressured. And I told her this, I was like, you know what? I kind of feel pressured by you. Like I have to complete studies within three days and you want to baptize me this quick. And she was like, God wants you to be pressured. God says, if you're not pressured, then you're not a motivated Christian. And she just started pulling up these scriptures out of nowhere. So it made me think that this was real. Like, you know what? God does want me to be pressured. God does want me to finish these studies in three days. Like this is something God wants because she just had an answer for everything. And I feel like that is where it's wrong. When cults realize that you can sense something, that something's off, they try to snap you out of it. They're like, no, this is what I have to prove it. And you are going to be set straight. By me saying that, I could tell from her reaction, she was acting flustered. She was a little bit frustrated that I wanted to go back to school. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just come up with an idea. You know, we can continue Bible studies over Zoom because that's literally how my classes in school are going anyways. And any other Christian would be like, yes, like we praise you for this. We're so thankful that you would want to do this. But you know what she said? She said, you haven't done enough studies to know the word of God to even be doing this. So you need to stay in the town that I was at in order to continue the studies. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if I believe that. Like I started challenging her. She was saying, it matters what church you go to. It's not right to switch churches and you're supposed to stick with the church that you are supposed to stick with. At first I was kind of just like, that doesn't really make sense because my uncle is a prominent member of his church. He's still a holy spiritual man, even though he goes to different churches. But then she pulled out a scripture saying that it's not right and that what he's doing isn't right. She was saying that basically I needed to stay at my hometown to be at the church that they were at, to be in their cult. I think it was Thursday and I had to work that day. And she was trying to tell me like, oh, we need to finish up these studies. If you're leaving for school on Monday, then we can get you baptized on Sunday. And I was like, look, I have work on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So it looks like we won't be finishing these studies. After she kind of started asking me about school, this is how I knew that it was getting very culty because she said, when are you going back to school? And I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be going back Monday. And she was like, well, your classes will be online, right? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I might have to go on campus for one class. And she was like, well, do you think you can try to make them all online? And I was like, I can't determine what the school gives me. And she was like, okay, 
well maybe you can just try to email your advisor and tell her that you're not coming back to school what <laughs> you're gonna tell me that i can't go back to school and then i was like okay even if i did do all online classes i still have to work i have an apartment in my college town too so i'm gonna have to work to pay for that and i don't want to be staying at home when i'm paying a year lease in an apartment that would be vacant so i was like number one i have an apartment number two i'm probably gonna have a class in person which i ended up having and number three i need to work and then she was like you know what you can find a job over in your hometown you don't need to go back to school and she was like you don't even need to work god will pay for your expenses and god will find a way for you you don't need to work your apartment will figure itself out and i'm just like in my mind i was just like you know what this is what i told her i was like god has a plan for me to go back to school to finish my degree so that he can give me what i'm expected for god knows my future he knows that he wants me to go back to school and you know what she said she was like you haven't learned enough about god to know what he wants for you and i was like how are you gonna tell me what my relationship is with god like you don't know what relationship i have with him and that's when i knew that like she was getting upset that i was challenging her and she was getting upset that i didn't want to stay in the cult she was getting scared that i wasn't going to finish the studies so she was like you know what why don't you come over to my house meet my husband and we can just sit down and figure out a plan for you this was when covid was like prime like when it was all around i don't know you i've never met you in person number two i don't know what your husband's gonna do like what are y'all gonna do throw me in a basement and lock me up in chains and make me not go to school i'm getting real good signs that this is a cult so it's like i told her i was like no i'm scared of covid so i'm not gonna go over to your house and so we just ended the studies at that point and then that was when i went to my mom and i was like so i've been doing these studies for almost three months now kind of on and off and this is what's been happening and i basically told her everything that i'm telling y'all right now and she was like why didn't you tell me this sooner that is an obvious cult and she was like you need to tell that group that you are not going to be doing studies anymore so i remember this was saturday and i was supposed to be getting baptized on sunday and then leaving to school monday so saturday i called tara and jessica up and i was like look i can't continue the studies anymore it's just overwhelming i feel pressured reading the bible should be enjoyable it shouldn't have to be a chore or something that i'm scared of and she was like god wants you to be pressured in john something 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 god wants pressure on you so that you can find your passion in this and this and i was like god is not supposed to be pressuring me and i even talked to my uncle about it he was like you should never feel pressured to have a relationship with god it should come natural and you should enjoy it and so basically after that i never talked to them again i blocked them on all socials they i think they tried to text me saying like just remember if you're not a disciple you're not a christian just to make me feel bad about my decision and jessica the person that i've been friends with for the longest time even messaged me and she was like you're not a true friend and so i feel like god removed her out of my life so that i can see better things and see what i'm actually meant for who knows what would have happened to me and i'm just glad that god showed me the way i'm glad that i have people in my life who do believe in christ and can help me through these types of things because i've talked to multiple people about this situation and they said that these are the wrong teachings even if this wasn't a cult it's the complete wrong teachings of the bible now that's all i have for this story time and i'll see y'all in my next video